Hi friends, it's Mrs. Schimpf again. Today we're playing a game called Double Top Draw. We'll be working with team numbers again. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see what we're doing. All right, so this is the fancy version of the game that we're going to play on our Bridges site like we would at school. Then I'll show you an easy way to play this game at home. So the first thing we have to do is you and I are going to play together. So we're both going to draw a card. So go ahead and push this blue button. Great. I'll put your card over here. And here's my card. All right. Now, if I look at those cards, whew, I'm not sure who has more and who has less. Let's look at your card first. You have 10 on the top and five more. What number does that make? Good, 15, 10 and five is 15. Now look at mine. Mine is in top and bottom, mine is side by side. So I have 10 on this side and six more. 10 and six makes 16. All right, you have 15, I have 16. Now we need to spin to see if we're looking for the number that's greater, like the big elephant, or the number that's less, like the little mouse. Do you wanna spin it? Go ahead and push the button. Less than, which of us had less? Yes, 15 is less than 16. So you get to keep both cards. All right, go ahead and pick your next card. All right, I'll move yours right here. Ooh, and here's mine. All right, how many dots do you have? Yeah, a lot. Let's see, two groups of 10. Good, 20, 10, 20. Or you can count them all up to double check if you want to. Let's look at mine. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you have 20 and I have 17. Let's spin. <gasps> greater than. Which number was greater? That's right. Yours was. So you get both cards again. All right, let's go. Go ahead and push the blue button. All right, here's yours. And I'll move mine down here. How many dots do you have this time? I see 10 and three more. 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, let's take a look at mine. I see 10 on this 10 frame. And then I see four on the top and four on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 and eight is 18. All right, 13, 18. Let's see. Less than. You have less. You keep getting all the cards. All right, let's go one more time. Go ahead and pick. All right, here's your card. And here is mine. Ooh, they look pretty close. What do you notice if we look at both? Oh, that's not going to work. What do you notice if you look at both of our cards together? I'm going to move this down here so we can put them next to each other and see. They both have a group of 10. Right. Look, if I were to cover up that red dot, we would both have four. You have one more extra than I do. So how many dots do you have all together? 10 and five more makes 15. Well, I don't have that dot right there. So I wonder how many I have. Can you tell without counting? One less than 15 is 14. 10 and four more makes 14. All right, go ahead and spin. Right on the line. Oh my goodness. Let's spin again. All right, less than. Which number is less? 14 is less. I got some cards. All right. Well, I have two cards. Let's see how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't know who won yet. We need to spin and see if we're looking for the greater number or the lesser number. Go ahead and spin. Less than, oh my goodness.
goodness, that makes me the winner because I had less cards. Let this be a lesson for life. More is not always better. I love this winner because you never know what's going to happen. All right, let me show you how you can play this game at home. So to play this game at home, you'll need a few things. You'll need some number cards. Now you may have already cut out the 10 frame teen cards from a previous lesson, so you can use those, or you can just write some teen numbers on pieces of paper or index cards. I made a greater than, less than symbol. You only need to make one because you can flip it either way. I made an equal sign, and we need that spinner. So I just took a post-it note, line in the middle, greater than, less than, and then like Mrs. Cotton has showed us, you can use a bobby pin or a paper clip and a pencil to spin the spinner. So then to play, my partner and I would each pick a card. I got 14. My partner got 16. So which way does the card need to go? This way, because 16 is the number that the mouth wants to eat. So 14 is less than 16. Now let's use our spinner to see who the winner is. Greater than, so my partner would get the numbers. I hope you have fun playing the game. You can send us video of you playing or a picture of your work, or you could even just send us a picture of one of your inequality statements. That means 15 is greater than 13 or one of those. Have lots of fun and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.